Yeah, good old Windows and their updates. I got two identical Windows 7 computers and um, having issues updating. Uh, the first one here that's missing the DVD-R drive uh, had issues updating it. And the other one over here I had issues updating it even after a fresh Windows 7 install plus all the drivers from Intel, Intel desktop board. Um, could not get this thing to update here at my home at all. Tried all the uh, fixes on Microsoft's website, um, TechNet, tech, tech net, uh, website, and anyway, um, nothing. And so I uh, took it over to a school I work at, which has a huge... Uh, bandwidth uh, capabilities and hooked it up and uh, worked just fine. So started to think, well, is it my slowness of my internet or is it the router? Uh, whatever. Ran across an article about uh, some of the services to check. Well, the service that they had me check uh, was not this one, but I'll show you it. It's the wired auto config. Another thing I did was I went in and I uh, uh, unchecked automatically in the Windows uh, Internet Explorer. Went into there and I went into Tools, went into Internet Options, went into Connections and LAN Settings and uh, made sure that automatic detect set automatically detect settings was unchecked. It's going to cancel here. Cancel. Close. And I went into here and I started this wired auto config. Uh, and I will actually set that up for. Um, let me see here properties. And I'll set it up the startup type to automatic. I'm not sure if delayed start's a good idea or not. Maybe it is. I don't know. Apply. Okay. Now I'll set it for automatic. So hopefully it'll continue to get updates. But had a little trouble with this one at first and realized I had also my DNS settings set to the Google server. Took them out. And I think that's what. Uh, took care of this. Now I have uh, it is working, seems to be working correctly. I'm just going to say install updates, walk away from it, and see what happens. But that seemed to be the trick for this particular machine. I'm not going to say it works for all Windows 7 machines, but hey, it worked so far for me so I've been fighting this bugger for I would say uh, like uh, some one person said that Windows 10 came out all of a sudden this problem showed up in Windows 7 hmm conspiracy I don't know uh, I just don't think they're rushing to fix Windows 7 issues uh, I'm not really a big fan of Windows 7 uh, Vista was horrible uh, XP was good 7 was better than Vista uh, eight seemed to be a little faster, uh, just a just a goofy interface on it. Uh, Ten seems to have a pretty nice setup going for it, but uh, uh, now you're coming out with 10s with the new computers here pretty soon, and that's going to be a Windows only. Uh, you will not be able to install anything but what's in the Windows App Store, Windows Store. So that's what I've heard. So anyway, if you want to unlock it, you got to pay Microsoft. So thank you, Microsoft. You are so generous. Thank you. Have a great day. Uh, see what happens. Talk to you later. Goodbye.